The Blue Lias Cliffs here at Lyme Regis consist of a series of light blue-grey limestones of various thicknesses ranging from a few centimetres up to about one metre. These are interbedded with layers of fine lime muds which are rich in both organic matter and iron pyrite. These alternating layers of rock represent the effects of cyclic changes in the Earth's climate, brought about by a series of changes in the Earth's orbit around the Sun. These orbital changes are known as Milankovitch cycles, and the three main players are orbital eccentricity, orbital obliquity, and precession of the equinoxes. The longest of these cycles, orbital eccentricity, lasts for around 100,000 years and describes the change of the shape of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. Planetary orbits are not circular, but are in fact elliptical, with the Sun occupying one of the ellipse's two loci. Over time, the Earth's orbit moves from a more circular one to a more elliptical orbit, and back again as a result of gravitational interactions with the larger bodies of the solar system, those being Jupiter and Saturn. When the Earth's orbit is highly elliptical, the difference in solar radiation, that's the amount of heat and light that the Earth receives from the Sun, between summer and winter can be profound, resulting in extreme swings of climate over the course of the year. Conversely, when the orbit is more circular and less elliptical, a more stable climate exists throughout the year. Obliquity controls the Earth's tilt towards the Sun and lasts for approximately 41,000 years. The Earth's tilt varies from between 22.1 degrees and 24.5. When obliquity is high and the Earth is tilted further from the vertical, the seasons become more pronounced and extreme, while a lower obliquity results in a more stable climate. The last of these cycles is the precession of the equinoxes, and if you've ever played with a spinning top, you'll be familiar with the mechanism. As the top, or planet, spins on its axis, it wobbles, the poles describing a circular motion through the sky relative to the fixed canvas of the stars. This cycle takes about 26,000 years. The result on the Earth's climate is that when the North Pole is pointed towards the Sun at perihelion, that means the closest point to the Sun in the Earth's orbit, the Northern Hemisphere experiences more pronounced seasons and the Southern Hemisphere less pronounced. 13,000 years later, the situation is reversed and the North Pole points away from the Sun at perihelion, giving milder seasons to the Northern Hemisphere and much more extreme seasons to the Southern Hemisphere. Okay, so that explains a lot about the way the Earth's temperature and seasonality changes over time, but how does that impact the rocks laid down 200 million years ago here in Lime Bay? Well, these three cycles operate at different rates, and so when you put them together, you don't get an easily recognisable cyclic pattern. But it is there, hidden underneath the curves. When eccentricity and obliquity are low, and the North Pole points away from the Sun at perihelion, the seasons here at Lyme were less extreme. This provided the perfect environment, warm and tropical, for the production of the mineral calcium carbonate. That's either through precipitation, chemical precipitation out of the water, or through biological means, little creatures producing their, their tests, their shells, out of this mineral while simultaneously reducing the effects of erosion on nearby land masses, resulting in less silt and mud being deposited in the ocean. This gives rise to the layers of limestone. Conversely, when the orbit was more elliptical, the Earth's tilt more pronounced, and the North Pole pointed towards the Sun at perihelion, the climate was much more extreme, resulting in a slower production of calcium carbonate and a greater rate of erosion on land. This means that the production of the calcite and the calcium carbonate was swamped out by the mud, silt and sediment being deposited into the sea by rivers, resulting in the lime muds that separate the layers of limestone here at Lyme. 